Did you know that there's a free AI assistant that can basically help you do any task and automate any tasks that you're currently doing right now? Or maybe you didn't know that there's a new AI tool that allows you to code any app or any website simply with just a few prompts and you don't have to know how to code. Well, those two things are absolutely nothing because by the end of this video, you're gonna know about seven new AI tools that you probably never heard of before and they are amazing use cases. Now tool number one is going to be Desktopus. Essentially what this allows you to do is it's the world's number one AI powered presentation generator. And basically it's a co-pilot for creating presentations. So all you have to do is go ahead and tell it exactly what you want to create a presentation about for example, we can put in history of Rome right here, the example that they have, but you could also use this for work, you could use it for sales presentations, you could use it for if you have to do a presentation about a report, literally anything. And as you can see, this now pulls up a window where you basically have a co-pilot for creating presentations. So this is gonna go through and this is going to outline this right here. And I'm going to suggest that we actually make some changes. I am going to come in here and I'm going to say, can you please talk more about what happened after Rome at the end? Now what this is gonna do is it's going to go through, it is going to adjust the presentation outline, and basically, this is my co-pilot. Now instead of me having to create three new slides, what this is going to do is this is going to now focus this on exactly what happened after the fall of Rome. Now what we can do from here is you can continue to theme selection and from here you could pick the theme that you want and you can see exactly how it looks. You click generate presentation and boom, this is gonna go ahead and actually create that presentation for you. But that was just the first AI tool that you needed to know about. This next tool is going to allow you to crawl basically any website. Let's say for example, that I had a competitor for my e-commerce business that was bl101.com. What I could do is come to this next tool and tell them that I wanna crawl their website in order to figure out what they're selling and how much they're selling it for. Check this out. So all we're gonna do in order to do that, we're just going to bring up bl101.com. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna find this. And as we could see, they literally have tons and tons of products, but I wanna know every single product. I wanna know the name of it. I wanna know the price of it. And I wanna know the link to it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here. I am now going to type this in here and we could start for free with more than 500 credits. Now, what we're going to do here is not do single. Instead, we're gonna come under extract right here. And what we're gonna be able to do is we are literally going to be able to write a prompt that is going to allow us to scrape this website. So I'm gonna say on here, I want to scrape bl101.com for all of their products, the name of the product, the link of the product, and the price of the product. Now what this is gonna go ahead and do is this is actually gonna go ahead and generate the parameters here, which make this incredibly easy for you to be able to use. For example, it's gonna be looking under products, it's gonna look for the name, it's gonna look for the link, it's gonna look for the price. And now all we have to do right here is just simply come in and tell it to run and boom, this is gonna go ahead and actually do that. Now while it's doing that, I wanna fire up a ChatGPT window also because we're gonna take what it exports right there and give it to ChatGPT and this is gonna make us a really cool spreadsheet that we are going to be able to use. Now this is going through and actually extracting all of this different data, but once it's done, you're gonna be mind blown here. So this is actually done right here. This has gone through and gotten a bunch of their products. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna say, please turn this into a spreadsheet. And then we're going to paste that JSON data right there and boom, this is going to go through and this is going to create us a nice formatted spreadsheet based on all of that different data. So and you can do this for one of your competitors or any use case like this. Okay, so now we can see that ChatGPT is actually going ahead and doing this. It's creating the product list. It has the link, it has the name, it has the price. And I can literally go through all of the different products that this extracted right here. Now, firecrawl.dev is going to be really good for scraping simple websites like that. But what if we wanted to scrape something a little bit more complex? Let's say that we wanted to scrape Zillow, we wanted to scrape TikTok, or maybe we wanted to scrape YouTube in order to get everybody's email address that have channels of a certain size. Check this out. Now, in order to do that, what we're gonna need to do is come to appify.com, which is basically your full stack platform for web scraping. And this is absolutely nuts. So 
I'm already signed in, so I'm gonna come over to console right here. This is gonna load up all of the past things that I have been able to scrape. And as you can see, this is really, really cheap for scraping since you're actually using their thing. And then a bunch of these other tools have a trial and then you have to pay on a monthly basis. But what's really cool is we can come up to the store right here and we could see and search for all the different things that we could scrape. For example, one of the examples that I gave you earlier was real estate. So if we come into real estate, this will now show us a Zillow detail scraper, a Zillow search scraper. They have it for realtor.com. They have it for Expedia. They have it for a bunch of different other things. Or maybe if we didn't want to do that, we could come back over it and see all the things that I have run before. And by the way, you could have a bunch of these running at once. You could save tasks and you can even schedule out tasks for the future. So if I come into Actors right here, you're gonna be able to see all of the past things that I did. For example, I did this Instagram API scrape right here, which was pretty cool, and we could see my past runs. Now, what I had this do was I came into the input right here and I gave it a bunch of different Instagram channels that I wanted to scrape, how many results I wanted, the days that I wanted that from. For example, I want their post from the last seven days, and I specified that I wanted this to scrape only Instagram Reels. And now look at the output that this actually gave me. If we click on this right here, you'll be able to see that this pulled all of my competitors' posts and I could see exactly what the link was. I could see how long the videos were. I could see the date that they were posted. I could see how many views they got. And this is incredibly helpful for me. Now, let's say that we didn't wanna do that and we wanted to do something else instead. If we come back into runs, we could see the TikTok run that I did right here. Now, if we click on this right here, you are gonna be able to see this incredible thing. So what this did right here was we came into search and we added search for a bunch of different things that were trending. And then if we come under runs right here, this basically did the same exact thing. It went through and then pulled all of the trending posts, how many shares they got, how many plays they got, how many comments they got, the duration, the type of music that they used on it, the original page, and this allows you to find trends on all these social media platforms. Again, you could do this for so many different use cases. If we come back over here into actors, it is absolutely insane how many different things they actually have up here. And some of these are free, some of them have a trial, and some of them you have to pay for their different uses. But again, you come in a lead generation, there a bunch of ways for you to be able to scrape things off of Facebook or LinkedIn or Google Maps. This right here is nuts. There are still four other tools that you need to know about that are going to allow you to code any app or any website that you want, automate certain tasks that you do for work, and two other cool use cases that I'm going to share with you in just a little bit. But before we get into those, I need you to smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest AI tools and exactly how to use them. Now, this next tool that I want to show you right here is going to be Replit. This is mind blowing. This is going to be the future of coding. This is going to be the future of building software. This is going to be the future of basically everything on the internet. So if we come over to Replit right here, turn your ideas into apps with AIs, you could create a website for your dream business, a habit tracker to reach your goals, an educational app, or anything that you actually want to create. And all you have to do is sign up here. Now I'm already signed up, so I am simply just going to log in. And then as you can see, you literally just chat with this thing right here. And you could see all the different apps that I have gone through here and created. For example, I created a YouTube transcript extractor. I created something to come up with different titles for YouTube videos, a comment crafter, actually as a Chrome extension that would respond to different comments that I get across social media and a bunch of other things. But if we come into create, app right here, you can create it with a Replit agent, you could choose a template, or you could import from GitHub. For this sake, we're going to just create this with the Replit agent. So I'm going to say, I need to build a lead form that captures leads for my AI newsletter. Now this is going to go through and this is going to build this. And by the way, you have different prompt ideas here, different integrations here, and so much more. So we're going to click on start building. Now watch what this does. This is like talking to ChatGPT, except it is your own personalized coder. So right now, this is simply just reviewing this message, but watch, it is going to start building and it is going to start showing us exactly what this tool and landing page is going to look like. And again, 
I'm using a pretty simple example here, but you could get this to build out tools. You could get it to access APIs, build you a database, do all this stuff. So this actually built this plan right here, and we're gonna have an email verification system. We're gonna have an admin dashboard, and I'm going to not have that, not have that. So we're gonna approve this plan. It's going to get started, and as we could see now, it's building it on the left-hand side right here, and it is gonna show us exactly what it looks like on the right-hand side here so that we can actually mess around with it, see if it works, we could come over here and deploy it when we're ready to, and guess what? You were able to do all of this incredibly quickly, and this will even debug it if it doesn't work. So let's wait for this to finish, and then I'll show you what that debugging feature actually looks like. Okay, so at this point, what is going on here is it says that there are different changes that I can review. So now this is actually gonna show me what this looks like, and then I'm gonna be able to mess around with it and tell it if anything is broken. So as you can see, it's taking a screenshot before it starts to present its results to me, and then it's going to give me some different things. For example, how do you like the lead capture form? Please check if you can enter an email, submit the form, do all of this. So let's try doing this right here. I'm gonna put in this random email address. I'm gonna click subscribe and boom, it looks like it worked. And now what I can do is I can say, add in a database and then I will be able to actually access the database here. But as you can see, it literally built a working website with a success pop-up when something was successful there. So here it says we created a database for you. You can manage it here and you can literally come into your databases here, all the other tools, you have a web preview, you have the console, you have your progress, you have your assistant, you have your agent, you have all this other stuff going on here. And as you can see, this is doing all of this for you. Now, if you thought that was crazy, this new AI assistant that is free is really going to blow your mind. Now, what I'm talking about is going to be using Convergence.ai. Essentially, this is your AI assistant for completing daily tasks. They have a bunch of different templates down here and a bunch of different tasks that this could do. For example, we're gonna come over here and it says, hi, I'm Proxy, what can I help you with today? So, as you can see, I logged in here and we could see a bunch of different tasks that it has done for me in the past. And you can go through a bunch of different tasks through here. So for example, let's say something along the lines, if, if we come in here, we could see that I asked this to find me the top 10 trending cryptocurrencies today that have the highest percentage gain. So we're going to actually redo this test so I could show this off to you. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to ask this to do this. And as you can see in this proxy view, it is actually going ahead and it is acting. So right now it's thinking, and then it's going to start going through all these different steps. And we're going to be able to see it within this proxy view. Now, if you did something that it needs you to then log in, all you have to do is click right here and you'll be able to take over its view. And then you will be able to access whatever information you need to. For example, if you try to order something on DoorDash, you're gonna to have to actually log into your DoorDash account for this to complete purchasing whatever you wanted to buy. In addition to that, if you come into this scratch pad right here, this is where you could write down a bunch of information that you want Proxy to know across multiple sessions because otherwise it's basically going to restart in every session that you give it. So as you can see, this actually went through and pulled all of the different top trending coins for today that have grown the most. And we could see that the task is completed. Now, we could do a few different things here. I could share this with other people or I could automate out this task. So let's say that I want this to happen every single day. I would name this, I'd put a date and a time, I'd put the frequency, I'd put the time zone, I'd click create automation, and this would go ahead and do this for me. Now, in addition to that, guess what else you can do? You could have multiple different tasks running at one time, multiple automations in order to automate most of the tasks that you do on a daily basis. Now, if you're creating content on social media or you do anything in Photoshop or Canvas, you're really gonna love this next tool. Because this tool right here is basically Canvas on steroids. It's going to allow you to create Instagram posts, logos, stock photos, TikTok videos, wallpapers, illustrations, avatars, and so much more. And as you can see, all these different companies already have employees using this. So this allows you to edit things, to generate things, and you could even integrate this with your social media accounts in order to automatically schedule out posting. And as you can see here, we could go through generating posts, 
editing posts, creating viral videos here. You could schedule out posts. You could create different logos and a bunch of other different things. And all you have to do is sign in here. And then this is going to pop up right here and you will be able to do a bunch of different things. For example, if you wanted to generate a stock image, just click on this, describe exactly what you wanted to make and boom, it's going to go ahead and create this. And this is going to make your video creation a hundred times easier. Social media content creation, a hundred times easier. And this is one of the most powerful AI tools that most people don't know about. Which brings me to the last and most important AI tool that you need to know about, and that is going to be Hugging Faces New Spaces. If you don't know what this is, this is mind blowing because it basically gives you access to over 500,000 different AI tools and hundreds, if not thousands of them are being added every single day. Now, all that you have to do in order to access this is just come to huggingface.co slash spaces. And this is going to be the AI app directory, which is mind blowing. Now, there are a few different things that you could do here. Let's say you're feeling dangerous. You want to try to just find some random AI tools that you could use for random things. Click on this dice right here, and this is going to go ahead and this is going to just pull up random different use cases. Or you could keep clicking this, we could X out of this, and we could come over here and see the different spaces of the week, which are going to be the top spaces that they have determined a lot of people are using. You could also come over here and find a bunch of different use cases, or you could search for different use cases. Let's say that I wanted to make an AI voice. I'm going to type in here AI voice, and this is going to bring up a bunch of different tools that people have created. And you can sort by trending, most liked, recently created, recently updated, or anything like that. And what I would strongly suggest that you do is you need to make sure that it says running, it doesn't say sleeping, it doesn't say that it's broken, and it doesn't say anything like that. You want to make sure that it's running, and ideally, you want to use the tools that have the most hearts under here, because that is a good sign that the tool is actually going to work, and then all you have to do is actually click in, and boom, you'll be able to access the tool. Now, if you like this video, you need to watch this video right here, because Perplexity just dropped a deep research feature. It is 100% free and you don't want to miss it. I'll see you over there.